not call Amen. your wife your friend. Amen. Hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is V's blog where we give you the latest and trending gist on entertainment. Yes, so guys, Moses Bleed and his beautiful and gorgeous wife Marie, yes, are set to walk down the aisle. Yes, guys, you all know already that Moses Bleed is planning his wedding and the due day is here already yes it's on the 29th of this month and on the 2nd of march so guys just stay tuned to my channel as i will be updating new videos of their traditional and their white wedding so guys yes everyone keeps talking about moses bliss wife that she's so natural and down to it that she's indeed a proverbs 31 wife that moses bliss indeed has found favor in her so guys i'll just allow you to watch the rest of the video to see for yourself to my beautiful amazing and wonderful returning subscribers you guys know i love you so much thank you for always coming back to watch my video if you're new here you're also welcome kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video can you like share and comment on this video till we meet again in my next video just stay tuned and thank you for always coming back to watch my videos Amen. you will not call your wife your friend Amen. Hi. Hi. Minister Jeff, I, say, I, I say amen to that friend. May you not miss your husband because of your boyfriend. Amen. <laughs> May you not miss your wife because of your girlfriend. Amen. It is done. It is done. Amen. It is done. Do you know that the What's up, guys? Um, there is something that is very strong in my spirit. Something that came to my heart while I was meditating. Listen to this. There are a lot of you that what is standing between where you are now and where you ought to be is not anybody else but yourself. I am here to tell you today that you should not grieve for yourself. So he's saying, I won't grieve for anybody. It's not applicable to everybody. Some of you, the person you should not grieve for is yourself because you are the one that is limiting your progress. I read in my Bible, the Bible says that you have made the word of God of non effect in your life because of your traditions. Some of you, you have made what God has promised you, your dream not to come to fruition because of your mentality, because of your laziness, because of your procrastination, because of you, you are the reason. You should not grieve for yourself. This is what I came to tell you today. Or some of you, if you make up your mind today that you will not grieve for yourself, you will see that everything will change. If you make up your mind that you are going to be praying, you are going to be reading your Bible, you are going to be reading your books, reading all the relevant materials that is associated with what you are meant to be doing, training, and you know training is continuous. You are training, you are improving, you are getting better. You will see that everything will change. You will see that everything will open up. So don't just be saying, oh, I won't grieve for anybody. Ask yourself, am I green for myself? So what are you doing that is in your best interest? Are you doing the things that are in your best interest? This is the word I have for someone today. Don't grieve for yourself. This year, put pressure on yourself. Put pressure on yourself. When you should be praying, be praying. When you should be studying, be studying. When you should be rehearsing, be rehearsing. When you should be improving, be improving. This is for somebody. Share this video. I don't know who might need this. For some of us this year, we shouldn't grieve for ourselves. That's my word for you. God bless you.